Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the Laravel scheduler on a Cloudway server. So the Laravel scheduler allows you to schedule specific functionality at specific times, and you can easily set up a cron job to run all of those tasks in the background. And I'm going to show you how we can easily do that with a Cloudway server. So the first thing we'll want to do is once you're logged into your Cloudways dashboard, you'll want to click on create a new server. We're thinking to go ahead and say the application that we want is Laravel. And I think we'll just call this application. We'll say Laravel schedule tester. And then the name of the server, we'll say Laravel schedule tester. Well, keep it pretty simple. So then we'll say we're going to go with a digital ocean server. I'm just going to put that down to a two gig because that this is just for testing. So let's go ahead and go to San Francisco. That looks good to us. Let's go ahead and launch the server. And this will take just a few minutes to boot up and then we'll go ahead and set up our Laravel scheduler. Okay, so after our server has finished setting up, we can then go ahead and click on our server and we're going to SSH into it. So we'll go ahead and SSH with this username and this IP address. So let's copy that and let's say SSH, the username at the IP address. And then we'll go ahead and copy the password. And we'll SSH into the server. So then we can go to CD applications. And inside of here, we have our application. It's kind of like a hash that we can go into. And if we list this out, we can then see that we go into public HTML, if I could type that correctly. Okay, so now this is our Laravel server right here. So. What I can go ahead and do is I'm going to open up the app console kernel, and this is where we set up a lot of our schedules. So I'm going to go ahead and just vim into my app console kernel.php, and let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so down here in the schedule command, this is where we actually need to add our code. And this is where you would possibly add a bunch of commands that you want to run at specific times. And that's if you want to run them hourly, every minute, every day, however long you want these commands to run. So what I'm gonna do is up here at the top, I'm gonna create a closure. So I'm gonna say schedule, and I'll just say call. And we can just pass a generic function inside of this call. And I'm going to say that I want this to happen every minute. And what I'm gonna to do to test this out is I'm just going to log something to our Laravel log. So I'm just gonna say, hello from the scheduler. Okay, so simple enough. I can go ahead and save this and I'll quit that. And then let me go ahead and open up a new terminal and I want to SSH because then I want to print out the Laravel log as I run the scheduler. So I'm gonna SSH in again. And then I'll want to go into my application and I'm going to want to tail the laravel.log. So we'll say tail dash F and this basically keeps the log open. So I can say storage slash log slash laravel.log. Now anything, uh, okay, let's see for reading, no such directory. And we actually don't even have that file there. So I'm just going to create it, say laravel. Dot log, and whenever you get your first log to the application, then that file will automatically be created. So let's go ahead and go back and let's try this again. We can go tail dash F storage slash log slash Laravel dot log. Now anything that actually gets added to this file is going to print out right here. So let's go ahead and just run the scheduler. But before that, I'm going to open up the Laravel docs. So we'll go to the docs. And I think it's down here in, is it basic, digging deeper? Yeah, so task scheduling. So we can see here, if we go through the documentation, it'll teach us all about how we can define schedules. And they even show down here, like how often you can run it. You can run it every minute, every two minutes and so on. So we are running this every minute and there is an artisan command that we can run, which is called schedule work. So I believe that's a little bit down more schedule 
work. So running the scheduler locally. So if we run this artisan command, it is going to run the scheduler. But if we were to exit out of this terminal, it would it would exit the the scheduler from running. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to create a cron job that will constantly be creating or it will constantly be calling this file so that way every minute or every hour or however long that we set up our tasks to run, it will automatically run in the background. But let's go ahead and just run this locally. And it's going to take just about a minute and then we'll see this log print into the screen. Okay, so you can see that the log got printed because it reached the top of the minute and then it printed this out. So like I said, we don't actually want to always have this artisan command running locally. We want to have this running in a cron in the background. So we can easily set that up. If we go to the documentation, they're going to show us how we can set this up. So it says running tasks on one server. And let's see, running scheduler locally. Let's go ahead and see what the cron looks like. So I think down here in the documentation, they give you a command. Yeah, here we go. So running the scheduler. So this is the command that we actually want to run. So let's copy this and let's go into our Cloudways dashboard. And then we're going to go to our applications and then we'll click on our Laravel app. And over here on the left, we see cron job management. Okay, and then we'll want to click on the advanced tab and we'll want to paste that right in here but you can see that right here it says CD path to your project. So we need to actually put in the path to the Laravel root. So we can do that just by CDing into our public HTML folder and we can write PWD to get the present working directory. So this is the directory for our Laravel application. So I think I'll just copy that and we'll go back here and we're going to paste that in and then click on save changes. Okay, so now our cron is running and we'll actually be able to get this print out to the screen every single minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fast forward the video and you'll be able to see these logs as they happen as they come in every single minute. So you can see that we're starting to get this message printed out every single minute. And the cool thing is now that we have this set up as a cron, we can then run any other commands inside of our app console kernel, and they will be executed exactly as we tell it to. So every minute, every hour, every day. And that's just how simple it is to set up the cron job management and the Laravel scheduler on a Cloudways server. I hope this helps you out if you need to set up the Laravel scheduler on a Cloudways server, or if you just needed to learn a little bit more about how the Laravel scheduler worked. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope to see you in a future video.